So the one thing we didn't do uh, for shells yet is we didn't talk about what it would look like to do a setup and find a shells style volume um, if you rotate around uh, a line that's not one of the axes, right? So we did this in 6.3. Um, it had kind of an effect on the, the radius, right? Um, and, it, and it kind of made some of the things uh, washers that maybe wouldn't have been otherwise. Um, so this is going to have a similar impact. It's actually also going to affect the radius. Uh, in general, it, it won't affect the heights. Um, but let's let's sort of look at an example to sort of see what we're getting at. So let's set up an integral, find the volume of the region bounded by uh, y equals negative 2x plus 4, um, y equals 0, x equals 0. So right in that first quadrant, this is just a nice, right, um, down sloping line. Uh, right, the slope here is negative, y-intercept is 4 drop two to the right by one, and, and, and that's gonna get us there. So we get this sort of triangle. Um, and let's rotate it around the line x equals six. Um, that's kind of far away. You, you could argue maybe a little too far away. I should have tried to condense this drawing. Um, but hey, that's pretty judgy of you to say, don't you think? Um, let's take it easy, let's take it easy. Um, same basic setup applies, right? My, my volume here should be right integral kind of a to b, two times pi times the radius times the height. dx, this is a, a vertical line that we're rotating around, so it, it should have the same kind of orientation. This, it should kind of mimic the setup of rotating around the, the y-axis. So we'll, we'll expect this to be dx. Uh, part of what makes this work and, and part of what we need to sort of think about as we're doing this setup is the interval, right? So so the x interval we're going from are x values from zero to two. It, it's not going x values from zero to six, right? The, the interval is only covering the initial region. I don't know why this, there we go. So now there's green here as well. So the region, right, for the figure is from x equals zero to x equals two right? Um, so the x values are there, even though the radius values are um, coming out this way, right? That's my radius. Radius is question mark. Height values are actually the same, right? Height is just going to be um, negative 2x plus 4. The, the height of all these um, Shells is just going to sync up with our curve. That that part at least is standard. So let's fill in a little bit of this information. So two times pi times the radius, right? Times my height, which is negative two x plus four, and this is with respect to x. So the trick here is I just need to figure out what the heck is my my radius supposed to be. So so the x values run from zero to two. Uh, you know, what would the radius be? Well, if the x value was zero, then the radius would be that distance from zero to six. So the radius, right, at x equals zero would be six. Uh, you know, at x equals two, right, the kind of other endpoint here, then the distance from two to six, right, the radius there would be four. Um, you can start to kind of sub in some of those values to get a sense of, of what the pattern is. In general, right, what we're going to be looking for here is you're trying to say, okay, well, what's the distance from 6 out to the x? Or what's the distance between 6 and the x value would probably look like 6 minus x. In this case, the x's are going to be less than 6. We're trying to get positive numbers, right? The, the distance uh, a lot of times you're really just finding the difference between the two numbers and that's going to be a subtraction. So the radius in general here, in this particular one, would be 6 minus x. So 6 minus x works. We didn't, in the other one when we were messing with the radius because it's squared, um, obviously we, we want to make sure we're using the right setup. There was usually a subtraction. Um, I think I had said, because it's squared, you could kind of do, um, you, you could kind of flip it. You could kind of screw up and not have it actually affect your final answer. Um, here it 
matters, right? Here the order matters and, and what the setup is. I, I would say generally, you know, you're gonna want whatever your sort of larger value is minus your smaller uh, with, re with respect to the x-axis. So if we're rotating around a, a line like six, that's, that's sort of a bigger value than any of the x's that we're gonna use, you would do six minus that. You know, in some sense, from the x perspective, you wanna do you know, the rightmost point minus the leftmost point. Um, I'll do maybe another one afterwards if we have time, or if we rotated this same figure around like a negative four or a negative two or something, um, then we'd have a little bit of a different setup, a little bit. So let's sub this in. Let's see if it actually affects what we've got. Zero to two, so two times pi times, so my radius is six minus x, and my height is this negative two x plus four. So what do we think? Is this still something that we could integrate uh, and, and find the area of? The, the answer, of course, is, is yes. You'd have to sort of clean it up. Um, I'll, I'll do just a couple of those steps to kind of get us started here, right? Two pi comes out, and then this we would end up just having to like foil or do like a box multiply, right? So you just need to sort of expand this. Um, this would end up being, I mean, I'll do kind of just a quick foil. This would be like a minus 12x. Uh, oh boy, all these things are so out of order. We're going to get stuff that's kind of looks like it's coming out in a weird order. You know, my outers would be 24 plus 24. My inners would be plus 2x squared. And then this is like a minus 4x, right? So, so all that stuff is, is coming out in, in out of order. 0 to 2 with the 2 pi in front. Uh, I'll do one last step to clean this up just because it looks so strange right now. 0 to 2, I'll, I'll go 2x squared. We'll get it in descending order. Minus 16x plus 24dx. So something kind of like that, right? We could keep going that would kind of be the setup. All right, so the radius gets shifted um, and tweaked a little bit, but you know, nothing outrageous. Uh, I'm gonna box a little space off over here, getting greedy and see if I can do, so alternate setup around, let's do x equals, you know, negative two instead right uh, what are we looking at four two so there's my line and I'm going around X equals negative two instead so you know if I pick one of these guys out now my shell is going around this way. So my radius now is going to be the difference between the x and minus 2. Well, you know, what does that mean? Uh, essentially what it means is, you know, if what we said before is you kind of want to pick the rightmost point minus the leftmost point, that would be x, you know, minus negative 2 would be x plus 2. And then conceptually that makes sense, right? You know, if your x value is 0, what, what's happening here to your shell is your radius is always going to be two units bigger than whatever your x value is, right? If you're here at zero, you sort of have the two, and you're rotating from there. If, if you're at one, you've got two plus one is three, right? If you're at four, you've got two plus two is four. So you're always kind of two bigger. You, you can kind of get there with this sort of, you know, right value minus left value kind of conception. X minus minus two, of course, minus a negative is, is plus. So then my volume would look like you know, on the interval, the x interval zero to two, two pi times my radius x plus two times the height, which is still, what was this? Negative two x plus four dx, right? So that was my radius and that was my height. So you can do those setups um, and you can imagine also, I, I'll, I'll um, save us from having this video be twice as long, but, you know, in, in a pinch, you could do rotations around uh, horizontal lines as well, right? Uh, 
uh, x equals type lines. You, you'd need to, for a shell's technique, you'd need to sort of rewrite the function, get it rewritten as an x equals, and do a y interval, right? You'd need to sort of uh, flip the variables around and, and do the setup there. But all that stuff would still work. Your radius would then be impacted, right? Instead of just being the y value, it would be sort of a, you know, a y minus or a y plus or something like that, right? The same kind of setups here. So all that stuff, all that stuff works. You can still do that. Um, the the setup here, the concept is the same. It's it's affecting the radius, so you have to just sort of adjust your radius setup. But the the height would be unchanged if you if you rotate around another line. Um, and that's the basics. That's the basics of six four. Uh, pretty good section. It's it's nice uh, having shells and the sort of discs slash washers setups. Once you know kind of all of those different methods together, then like I said before, you can really pick and choose which one you want to use in a given situation. You, you know, uh, you kind of have enough tools in the toolbox that you can kind of pick the right one for the job versus if, you know, if with that saying, if, uh, you know, the only tool you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Um, you know, so until we have enough tools, um, you know, if all we know is, is the disc setup, then everything is going to have to look like a disc to us one way or another. But now that we sort of know discs and washers and shells, we know these these couple things. We can actually, uh, you know, use a little more finesse, kind of pick pick the right tool for the job, and that, of course, is always a good idea. Uh, nice work. We'll we'll see you in the next video set.